so cool. <laughs> Charlie. I sure, I sure that'd be cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, Charlie, welcome, 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 welcome. Um, so thank normally, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Normally, I start with let's get to know you, your name, what you do, where you are. Okay. Yeah. Are we going to start with that too with me? Should, yes. I, should I do it? Yes. yes. Um, okay. I'm trying to totally set this thing up. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, this, this is good. Okay. Aha. Um, cool. Yeah, because because whoever is watching, most people don't know who I'm speaking with. Um, so normally, okay. I do not try to present this conversation based on oh, this is how I know this person or whatever. It's it's what it is because we don't know who this would help. You know. True. Um, okay, so I am Daniel Maudi Quist, um, a creator and creative in Accra. Um, the and what I do for work is a couple of things from styling um, for from styling individuals and you know personalities to videos and commercials, all of that stuff, just you know wardrobe and styling all right. um, I do that for work, yes. And also, I do some design work for um, other organizations, which is like you know, consult with regards to what they're trying to do with design uh, yeah. in this space. So, yeah. All right, cool. That's so, what I do. Yeah, so, um, so for as long as I've known you, you are always moving, always doing something, always active. So morning, afternoon, night, morning, afternoon, night. Now, this entire um, moment comes and demands that those of us who can stay at home, stay at home. And you now, you've been at home now for a while. Um, how, yeah, for how almost this, a month. Yeah, so how is this transition? How is it, what, what's happening? How is it affecting you? Um, what would you say was the first major um, changing aspect of this entire experience for you oh the to me the first and major thing that hits that you know immediately yeah is um being home 24 hours with a child mm. um yes so you know i'm married and i have a we have a we have a son you know and he is energetic he's and I would, you know, we we have a nanny, so we had we had a nanny who would, you know, take care of him during the day yeah. while we're at work and doing like everything or like going about our day. And now, like to have to have him twenty four hours, even if I have a couple of hours to myself while I'm doing something and the mom is taking care of him, I can still hear him. Yes. So like basically, he is like twenty four hours in my life now yeah and that is the first thing you know the first thing that hit me and so then i had to like try to adjust a lot of things else to like fit into this change yeah. um yes before anything else comes to mind that is the first thing that actually was yes. um wow so, okay so so now that you've said that, I think this is like an interesting um, direction. So being, being that you have to psychologically, physically, and even mentally that, like reposition yourself, you know, to know that, oh, okay, yeah. um, this, this is a different reality. I, I will talk about how you're adjusting, but I want to say that will also just give, give you like a very clear perspective of what mothers go through from you know, carrying the baby, giving birth, and taking care of the baby, like 
constantly like just like your perspective of maybe your respect level your admiration level for women will just expand instantly no totally um look i <laughs> <clears throat> that was a wet cough, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it would be a good assumption because to me, you know, having been the kind of person who is, we are all constantly, or like I'm at least constantly trying to like better myself from, yeah. From you know, you know my up, you know my upbringing and everywhere that I, every all the baggage that I'm carrying from where I'm coming from, this also adds up to actually appreciating my mother. Uh huh. Like in the sense that, in the sense that you know I've all you know there's like, unlike some people who do not who, you know who do not have their you know yeah. mothers in their lives and up until now are not engaging with them in a certain on a certain level i have always felt like oh but felt like oh my mom sometimes you know she's like stripping she needs to like chill now i am starting i have i'm having a little bit of an understanding because that was a different time even yeah. compared to now it was not even now that like now men and fathers are actually very involved and very, you know, most that I know at least, you know, and it wasn't like before when I was born or like the time I came up, look, the mother is the mother. That one would be something where he, she it deals with a lot of settled, things and the father, you get me. Um, and, and now it's all like, it's like, look, no, equal opportunity for ma uh, for men and women so my wife I, you know my wife has her work that you know we're like ah right, cool if you are having to do have to do your work and yeah. i am having to have to do my work we know that we need somebody to help us with the child so that structure we have in place right so then it seems like okay it's more on a very equal vibe mm -hmm. up until this happened so then this happens and then i I'm starting to realize that there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things that people like me and the people who come from my generation seem to take for granted when it comes to like sticking Parenting. with a child and especially yeah. women. When when our mothers had to deal with us 20, like literally 24 hours a day. You know, because whether if she has to go to work and my father has to go to work as well, she is the one who will take me to her work. Yeah. Yeah, not you know, not the other way around. Yeah. Um. So now it's becoming, um, it, it, that dynamic, and having to, just like, for both of us, figure it out. Yeah. And then so then it gives me it makes me actually really appreciate my mother, you know, and mothers. Yeah. In general, yeah. you yeah. know, who, yeah. who, who not and, and all again. I know that there's like a prop, you know, there's a situation and so women are marginalized and undermined overall, but like specifically certain women who are from a certain time. Like I'm just just so to separate yeah. what yeah my yeah. I, I you know I understand what I'm feeling. What you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But also, just before I will ask the next question, I just wanted to say, uh, when you are saying you appreciate your mother more, you and your mother actually have a dope relationship. You guys are best friends. So I just wanted to just put yeah. that there. It's not like you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Listen, yeah, anybody yeah, who has yeah, ever yeah. seen my hair braided before, yeah. my yeah. mom is the one who braids my hair. Yeah. We yeah. have an amazing relationship. Yeah. For us, it's like, and so that's the reason why I, I took a lot of things for granted because yeah. like, you know, if, yeah. if, if it was like some kind of a thing, yeah. you know, you would definitely have your disposition that is justified by whatever conflict yeah. that I'm having internally. But me and my mom, there's no internal conflict. I don't, you yeah. know, I don't really yeah. have fights with yeah. her. So to me to say that appreciating her more just meant that yes. it's very important I, that whenever I miss her call, 
I you should know. call her. Yeah, but I just I just wanted to make that clear because I know the relationship okay. you guys have is dope. Yeah. Um. So how does this? Because right now I know that you shut. You have to shut your office down, and you moved your yeah. office. Uh, you're currently um close working to home, from home. Working from home. So yeah. So my question now is, let's say in the next year or so, office outside, outside the, out of home, in town. Yeah. How do you yeah. now begin to make sure that the things that you are inserting into your relationship as a parent, the, the, the balance that you are bringing into the partnership between mother, father, child, how do you now make sure that yeah. that continues? Um, one of the things that being here constantly has also thought, has also, you know, taught me is the fact that we think too little of children. We think that they are, they, they don't, they don't have a mind of, their, of, their own. of its own, of their own. Like, you know, I, I said they don't have a mind of their own. And that is something that I, I'm starting to realize. And I figured this out immediately that, look, whatever it is that we're doing now, it's only amplified. It's the same thing that we, we did yeah. with the less time that we had, yeah. but it's just amplified. Yes. Right? So I am not all of a sudden showing more love and attention okay. towards him mm -hmm. because I am in the house. I'm they're just an uh, over, oh, over expansive volume of it. Of it. That's it. That's just about it. And I believe and know so much so that if the situation changes, my child would know. Okay. Even if he doesn't say, if he, if he doesn't say it, because there are things that I remember talking to him about, or like singing songs that I remember singing to him when he wasn't, he didn't know worse. Yes. Now he's singing them. Or like he would say something that I remember talking about like a long, too long ago. Yeah. You know, and so for me, it's like, I believe that the key thing is just continue being the father who will give him the attention when it's there. Yeah, yeah. What, like, yeah. like when it's there, you give it, it, I give it to him. But then if it's not there too, I know he knows. Like, I t you know, I mean, it like, it's, it makes sense for him. Like, he knows that, okay, look, it, it's not that I don't, I do not, you know, care, but it's rather I am, the situation that we're in is changed and, yeah. he will, and he will know, he will figure it out. Me not trying to like manipulate that, to, like, you know, try to make him see or like try to make him to understand. No, that is not, that is just not it. Cause like, so for instance, so for instance, he, whenever I am doing physical work, so because sometimes I'm doing prototype of things, so I'm like, I have a little workshop set up. So I'm cutting things, I'm like chiseling things, hammering things. And he will come by and it will be encouraged, you know, for like the first time. And then the next time I would say, you need to go back into the house because what I'm doing is dangerous. He understands, you know, he comes, he sees what it is. He goes back. It will not stop him from coming the following okay. day. Yeah. If he hears the sound. But to me is this, I know that I will have a peace of mind to actually finish what I'm doing. If he's not there because his safety will not be a major thing to like totally yeah. Yeah. brew about. Right. But then I have told him already that I've had a conversation with him to know that, okay, this is dangerous. So he knows that, okay, when that sound is coming, up until 
I invite him and say, look, it's okay for you to come. Um, you know, so for me, it's like, I know that he has a mind of its own that is growing. That would immediately pick up good things when it's there. And then if, 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 if you know, in, in the social construct that we live in, certain things don't fit in, I would like be able to say, look, you have to be sensitive about this, yeah. this and that and that and that. And then I can be able to impact that if the time comes. But I don't think that, you know, that would affect anything if the situation changes. But it's, with regards it's just, to our relate. Yeah, it's just, but it's just dope to see that um, this situation is teaching you a lot. It's like you're, you're just, you're paying attention. You're seeing a lot, you know. And also it just gives you 24 hours to always just see your kid, you know. Like a lot of the things that, we as humans miss a lot when we are out there doing everything that we're doing. Yeah. It just gives you that very clear yeah. perspective. But how, how is this also affecting, because you said you're married, you have a child. How is this also affecting and improving? What's, what, how is this readjusting your relationship now with your partner? Yeah, now that is another thing. Because <laughs> for a child, that <laughs> for a child, you know, he has not picked up too many things in this world. Yeah. And so um, you know, things are forming. Yeah. But to a full grown up, this is a test. Big one. Of everything of everything that the human anatomy is made of <laughs> it pushes and tests everything. Yeah. No bullshit. Yeah. No Definitely. bullshit. Definitely. That Definitely. shit. Listen, Definitely. and I'm I'm gonna tell you something. People don't understand. Yo, this quarant, if anybody who is a married human being, married human being in this world, and you are quarantine, I'm not talking about girlfriend, boyfriend or like we are in a relationship that we can decide I can go to my mother's house tomorrow or I can decide to leave the house tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, that yeah. is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if you are a human being who has like institutionalized... And you've locked in. You've, yeah. And you've locked in. You've locked in. This is a, it's totally different. And for me, it hasn't even started like one month. And I don't know where we're going, but I this feel might, this like... Might go to, this might go to early June or so. Yeah. So if that is the case, and you're a privileged idiot like myself, who can stay takes in. everything for... Yes, who can stay in. Yes, who can stay in. Because that's a privilege. When it, at this time, yes. Yes. if you can afford to stay in, you're privileged. Yes. You're privileged. Yeah. So... As a privilege, like I said, as a privilege here like myself, if you are like that and you are committed to anyone, this time will test everything. Because for me, it's testing everything from the way I walk to the way I talk to the way I sit to the way I eat to the way I laugh to the way I I, you know, I sit, sleep, everything, everything. Cause like I am in, we are in each other's space 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That in itself gives you too much time on your hands that you start to actually see things that you you couldn't you possibly you couldn't have seen you possibly yeah. couldn't have seen in the past. Yeah, because most most of us right now we've never had that time to ourselves. You know that this nah. the time that we're having now it, it has like the slow motion. You know it's like on like on, on the highest level. You know we've been slowed down. You know and yeah. and there's a mental part where we know that this, this particular experience is happening everywhere. 
in the world. There's that mental part of it. But then mm -hmm. there is the, the part where you are faced with all your realities. You know, when, when you are Simple. waking up every day, going out, busy, going, to, going for work, going to parties, chilling out and all of that, you're not faced with your, a full mirror with your entire, all your classifications right in front of you. You know, yeah. so when when yeah. you when you are isolating with a partner, you are seeing all of these new things about yourself. Then you are seeing that about your partner. If if that's not your normal reality, so I I can imagine how how crazy that can that can feel. Like yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. it's insane. It's just but, so but, but it I think it comes back down to your communication. And, I, and I'm believing that you guys have like a dope communication because they, the statistics is saying that the divorce rate has gone 100%. Um, people who survive this, you know, will come out better or... Yeah. Uh -huh. so yeah. No, I believe, listen, I, believe, I believe that to be very true. Anybody yeah. who is able to survive now till when it's done <laughs> you're cut from a different cloth yeah let's just say that yeah. if you and i meet we'll be good friends yeah so so molly uh, for you now what's important what's what I, what what would you say is the most important um love duty 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 why duty um Whatever it is that you know, you or any any human being decides that is their calling, be it bad or good. Um, everything else comes in line to make that happen, unless you didn't believe in that thing. And so, I feel like you have a duty to deal with everything else that is coming into play at this time during the process towards the vision, the, the thing that you were supposed to be doing. Yeah. That's it. It's like you, there's, there's a, you have a duty. Like, and at the end of the day, it's like people don't get it. It's like, or like, I, sometimes I even forget. We, or like, I at least sometimes I'm so caught up that I forget that, okay, the rational bit of everything is also very important. Yeah. As right. important as the, um, you know, so for me, duty. Hmm. Okay. That's it. Okay, okay, I, I, I can, I can dig that. Um, so for you now, what do you? How do you want to come out of this? Because, I mean, because, there, because you've I'm, been in now for a month. You know, yeah. you've been, you've been working like you've never worked before. You've been focusing on family like you've never focused before. You've been focusing on yourself, your body, like you've never focused. So your all your senses are heightened with just everything I'm hearing. So how do you want to come out of this? I know that I'm going to come out of this just support all the things that I'm doing towards that vision. That, yeah. Like, I know for a fact, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, because for me, I have more time, I have like more time to be able to educate myself because yeah. everything that I've learned is through self-education. Yeah, that's as simple as that. I have so much time on my hand that I could, even even in my not doing anything yeah. physically, yeah, 
my mind is still working because I'm not like it, everything feels like a rest. Mm. Like every moment, whether I'm like doing something hectic or like it, it is still a rest. Yeah. To me, this whole time is a, is we're also resting. That I know that the moment this is over, anybody who actually knows me will see, will feel, will see, will feel. Like I've, it's it's something that I know. I, I look I look forward to that because for me I feel like <clears throat> uh, one of the main reasons we're here is to grow. And the person who isn't growing, then Charlie, they're doing something to Yeah, yeah. Um so just just looking at just looking at business, because <laughs> we still have to c- c- come that come back to that. Yeah, just looking at course. business, um what are you learning? You know? Now, now that also your your sites are heightened, you know, yeah. in that area, what are you learning? Is it, are you learning something digitally? Are you learning something technically? Um, is it is it is are you changing perspective? Are you very sure? Okay, this like what what are what are the new things you're learning that you feel would um, position you better in this new? very clear digital age that we just entered i I am learning that the internet i have to be involved with it 150 percent not a not a hundred percent not a not a not a two no no that the digital space that we're living in we as a continent of which is africa and we as you know the people who are in this town and especially you know, somebody who comes from the place that I am coming from, it's when you, there's like struggle is everything you know, and you come to a place of comfort. Um, um, that becomes a haven. And so to move into any other space just feels like way too much work. Yeah. And so then you stay there and then when you become irrelevant, you become greedy. And then when you become greedy, then you start, you become you know, corrupted, and then you become when you become corrupted, then you know you fuck everything up for everybody else. So, with that said, for me, at this point, the internet and what it is giving, or what what it is, what it what its work is in this space that we're living in, I now understand, or like I'm learning to like dive into it a hundred and fifty percent. Yeah, like it needs to go beyond whether it is 110, 105, it needs to go beyond the 100 percent mark. Because other than if not, if not, death is inevitable. Hmm. Like death, like as in like to die is inevitable. So for me, like that is like my. I spent I spent time on the like I spent time on the internet just to understand like how right now the internet is okay so so you know social media is now we we do understand that people who are earning money right now are the people who have been able to like establish themselves yeah on digitally on on di- digitally you know created value for themselves digitally so now at this point being, you know, somebody who looks at this particular way, but don't understand how to bring that particular way into this digital space, then if you 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 are not committed to seeing what that is about, then you go die. Yeah, it be like it be, yeah, you. it be like it be like so the that's people. What I, that's, yeah, it be like the people where uh, when music they change when music change from. They said to see the like no I won't produce that like yes if 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 to 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 keep growing you must adapt but you you can definitely you yeah. can always adapt in your own way you know um, yeah of course so it, yeah it's it's really beautiful that's just, for me for me that's like that's the that's the one thing that I'm like super like honestly 
that's one thing that I'm super focused on, apart from, you know, I mean, personally as, as well, I've been focused on like, you know, trying to like mentally adapt into myself, like mentally. So like, and also by the aid of the internet, because we're living yeah. in a day and age where if you're looking for professionals on any field it's of there. interest, they're out there, it's there, it's there. You can like, you can engage and interact. So like, you know, just having to dive, dive into my headspace, like personally as a, as a, a Ghanaian man, who is married to a foreigner, who has a mixed child, who is trying as much as possible to like stick to like right, doing his own business, making that flourish, making sure that between all of that, it's not, doesn't become a dick. And then in between all of that, to be able to become like a real asset to the community and then be able to like move things like that, is um yeah so this entire this entire last bit is it's a conversation that you already know i want to have with yourself and molly like this entire last bit you understand because i feel like we must demystify we must change narrative we must begin to cut down all of these stereotypes you know so i can't wait to have that conversation with you and molly but what I was going to ask you back but, that's, to you know what is, but you know what is amazing is yes. the fact that at this point in time, if, we, if you and I, if we had tried to have that conversation before this time, yeah, it, would, it wouldn't have been any conversation that I would even probably even have. You see. To, in, in any sense, to be able to like comprehend have it, any, yeah. comprehend it, be able to like psychologically demystify it, and then be able to like personalize it, and then be able to like have a converse, have a conversation yeah. to a third party yeah. Yeah. in any shape that, that, or form. That one eighty. Yeah. So for me, it's like I feel like. This whole quarantine thing, it's also like put me in that, you know, that space where, you know, I'm working on not just like how to like professionally or like boost what I am learning, how to deal with like the society and, you know, world as it is. But then also like personally, I'm like trying as much as possible to work on understanding why my mind and myself like act and think the way I yeah. do. Yeah, um, but I want to end. Time. I want to end with two things, right? I want to end with one. Um, how has your faith helped you in this time? My faith is everything in this time. Because you are Christian. Um, I'm a Christian. Yes. So it. I'm curious to know. Is are you have you been praying a particular way? Um, have you been praying more? Um, like, okay, I haven't been praying in any particular way, um, and I haven't been praying in more than you used I to. usually would. But when uh, when I felt like doing it, I did it. Okay, like not my faith is the only thing is the first thing my faith is the first thing that put my sanity together yeah as a as a you know as a as a human being in yeah. this country yeah that is a that's the one the first thing that put my mind together so like that is the that's the first thing that i always would go to if 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 i was even like making that a like a prerogative yeah because like at this because honestly it's the one thing that i always go to when everything else comes to shit hmm. and immediately it does like really give me a sense of calm and direction and hope in how i am moving so then i for me i feel like I, I should rather make it the first thing so that it be the thing that like gives me 
all the, you know, the thing that I talked about, which is hope, you know, <laughs> direction yeah. and um, all those things. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's so dope. That's also another thing I want to have com a conversation around, but I would love to have um, that conversation with a few men just to see how okay. we are, you guys are navigating, you know, currently with the Christian religion, the Christian faith, and how you are functioning within that. Um, but to round it up, is there anything you want to just drop out there for people who are just going through a form of anxiety, a form of confusion, um, just because we're all experiencing this for the first time, you know? So yeah. Um, one thing that I was, you know, if there's anything I would say, it'd be, look, I am in a privileged position. Yeah. I know that for a fact. A majority of the people who are in my social spaces are also privileged. So if you are able to have the time to watch this video, you understand that you are also very privileged. So no matter what the situation is that you and I are having to deal with, there are people who can't afford to have a phone that has the quality of imagery that we are displaying to ourselves. So we or laugh even buy data. and talk about, or even buy data. So it means that you are going to be okay. And also you should check on that person who is around the corner. Cause maybe it is just your word like we'll be able to like make them see the light it's as simple as that Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. perfect way to end this conversation thanks Mali. Bam, 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 bam. guys Mali, Mali supplied me with these glasses i have a few oh yeah oh 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 no listen hold on hold on are we doing a plug are we plugging Oh, uh, Charlie, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This hey, is hey. the finest array of vintage frames up in this town, period. In Accra. Just saying. Cut so in Accra, you, you need to like link up. Link up. Cut the this plug. Is, these, are, these are just things that I'm working on, things that I'm cleaning. But if you we go back there, there's more. But no, Charlie. All right, man. Peace, man. Love. Always, bro. Yeah. Charlie, wonderful catching. Yeah.